I've made several videos about electrified highways, the highways that charge your electric car while you drive. Many people, I'm talking hundreds, told me it wouldn't work. It'd never happen. I call these people the naysayers. Sorry, naysayers, you got it wrong. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Just want to say a big thank you to our Patreon supporters. Really appreciate what you do. If you'd like to support the channel, that'd be amazing. I'll put a link in the description to our Patreon page, or you can just Google The Electric Viking Patreon. So it turns out there's actually six different countries. Yep, six countries all building electric highways that will charge your car while you drive. I kid you not. See, I thought this thing wouldn't ever take off as well. Little secret there. Don't tell anyone. I really did think, nah, this, this doesn't sound legit. But, well, turns out I was wrong as well. Electrified highways are a thing. And they will happen. Unbelievable to think about it like this. Imagine never, ever having to stop to charge your electric car. Will that ever happen? Probably not. I don't think they're going to be rolled out to that degree. Meaning, yes, charges will be here to stay. But on some highways around the world, on some roads, your car will be able to charge itself, as long as you have the right car. There are five countries already in the process of building electrified highways. The first of those is Sweden. Sweden is working on an electrified highway project on European Route E20 with a goal to complete it by 2025. The project aims to recharge electric vehicles in motion and reduce the need for EVs to stop at charging stations. Number two, Germany. Germany has been exploring the concept of electrified highways through the e-highway project. It involves the installation of overhead power lines that supply electricity to hybrid trucks fitted with pantographs. This technology allows trucks to operate using electric power from the overhead lines, but this is just the start for Germany. They have many more plans for electrified roads in the country as well. South Korea. South Korea has been implementing electric vehicle charging infrastructure, including electrified roads. The country has actually built a wireless charging system on a public road in the city of Yumi, allowing electric buses to charge wirelessly while driving. It's planning on installing this technology on public roads as well. China has been investing in electric vehicle infrastructure in the greatest degree of any country in the world. There is millions of fast chargers in China. China is making plans for electrified roads. The country has been testing and implementing wireless charging technologies for electric buses and has conducted trials in certain road sections already. The Netherlands. The Netherlands has explored the concept of dynamic charging for electric vehicles, where roads are equipped with charging infrastructure embedded within them. The technology allows for continuous charging of EVs while driving on electrified road sections. So what countries are planning on doing is, they won't electrify an entire highway. I mean, of course, that wouldn't work. And that's what the naysayers are saying. They're kind of like simplifying this. Oh, it's too expensive to electrify an entire highway. And they'd be right. That would cost too much. So what they'll do is simply electrify areas where the traffic is denser, where cars are more likely to be sitting at a standstill because there's lots of traffic in that area. And they don't need to electrify the entire area either, just small portions of the road. Now, of course, where they decide to put these charged roads will depend on different factors, including infrastructure investment, technological advancements, regulatory support, and environmental goals of each country. I mean, in some places, some countries, in some areas, they have too much energy at many times of the day. That would be the perfect spot to put in an electrified road. Send that excess energy from all the solar. Maybe there's too much solar panel use coming in in that area. This is a thing, by the way. So then send some of that power into a local electrified road. The country working on this very hard at the moment, though, is Sweden. Sweden, in fact, has been working on electrified roads for a few years, with smaller stretches of road being used for testing purposes. Eventually, it aims to expand the road to cover a distance of 1,864 miles of charged electric roads. This seems utterly insane to me, but they plan on doing it. 
One big decision that has to be made is the charging method for E20 with three current delivery methods on the table. They are a catenary system, a ground-based conductive system, and an inductive system. Still, not all of them can be used for private vehicles like the Tesla Model Y or the XC40 Volvo Recharge, some of the most popular EVs in Sweden. Conductive charging, though, can be used for private vehicles as it involves the use of a conduction system with a rail. Charging of the electric vehicles takes place via a stick that makes contact with the car with the rail while the car is in motion. Currently, that's how it's done, but in the future, it will be done completely wirelessly. The Swedish Transport Administration has created the first charging rail in the world on public roads that was done in 2018. It's a stretch covering 12 miles of road. In this implementation, electric trucks can lower an arm which receives power from the electric rail below, which has been milled into the asphalt. The inductive charging system differs in that it uses equipment beneath the road that transfers electricity to a coil in the EV. This coil then recharges the battery. Now, currently this system is only used for trucks, buses, and trams, but in the future, it could be adapted to electric cars as well. We think the electrification solution is the way forward for decarbonizing the transport sector and are working with a number of solutions, said Jan Peterson from the Swedish Transport Administration when talking to Euronews. The motorway set out for this world-first project links Hallisberg and Chebro and will be intersected by three major cities in Sweden, Stockholm, Melmo, and Gothenburg. You can see this is a massive project. So what about America? Well, America may not be the first to see a project like this reach fruition on a large scale, but it is working on its own solutions. In 2021, the Indiana Department of Transport indicated its plans for wireless charging technology to be equipped to a quarter mile stretch of road as part of a pilot project. In February this year, the government tweeted that the laboratory testing phase of the project has been completed successfully the next stage is to finalize the design of this quarter mile stretch of road. While it will likely be a few years before these electrified roads begin to ease charging. Now, while it's going to be a few years before these electrified roads will begin to ease charging station congestion and improve the range of your electric car, enabling you to just drive while charging, this technology holds enormous potential. And I thought it wouldn't work, but it seems as though it actually is working. I'm excited to see Sweden's e-motorway, and I know many countries around the world are watching them with a keen eye to see what they're doing and see how it works. These kinds of projects, as I mentioned earlier, are now being replicated in many places around the world. You may believe the electrified roads are not going to work and never will, but it turns out they actually are. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.